My friend Wolverine tells me you are Magma, a recent addition to the X-Men. I am Colossus. How were you able to hold up that regulator back at the nuclear plant? I am able to transform my body into an organic metal that grants me incredible strength, as well as the ability to withstand high temperatures. Wow, that's amazing. Perhaps, but I still enjoy my flesh and blood form. It is only then that I am truly able to sweat and put my back into my work. I'm very sorry to hear about your sister's illness. I too am sorry, but I refuse to give up on my sister. To lose Iliana would be more than I could bear. Take care, Colossus. Thank you, Allison. I know it was you, Alex. What have you gotten yourself into? Look, all I ask is that you meet me. You couldn't have picked a worse time. Scott, you really need to see this for yourself. Then you'll understand. I don't know. I need to... Hope to see you there, Scott. I've gotta go. Bye. Bye, Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't. If you don't mind my asking, who was that? Someone who needs a swift kick. Computer, shut down the power grids in the 3rd, 4th, and 8th sectors. Invalid. Command. Ah! I made you! I can break you, you chunk of... Uh, uh, oh, oh, hi, yes. My name's Forge. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Allison. I mean, I'm Magma. Are you having trouble with your computer? Ever since the Brotherhood stormed through here, the mainframe's been acting flaky. It's constantly turning systems on and off, it won't take any of my commands. Say, could I ask a big favor of you? Like what? Would you mind manually rebooting the Institute's supercomputer? I need it to program the life support system I built for Ileana. Rebooting a supercomputer sounds pretty technical. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I do it myself, but I have to be here when the mainframe comes online. Sure. I'd love to help out. What do I do? Go to the primary core. Once you're there, contact me over the radio, and I'll walk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. Okay, Forge. I found the primary core. What should I do now? Wait a second, Allison. I just found out I can't shut down the computer defense systems. They'll attack anything that moves in there. Maybe I should get one of the other X-Men to handle this. There's no time to waste, Forge. Ileana will die without your help. And you can't help her until this computer is working. I have to agree, Allison. Time is running out. You're very brave to do this. Nah. I'm just looking forward to a good fight. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Wolverine. Okay, Allison. Move into the room, and I'll talk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. First, you'll need to raise the bridge to get to the primary controls. There should be a control panel near the bridge. Keep 
back up. I dare. won't go up. I'll have to clear it off first. Okay. Be careful, Allison. I did pretty good, didn't I? This panel isn't doing anything. Yeah, from my monitor, it looks like the core is out of alignment. So what should I do? There are two core control stations. Find them and access the core. They should automatically align. <gasps> Good job, Allison. Now you have to find the other core control station. That's more like it. The core is in alignment. Now head back to the primary controls and access them. I've got it covered, Forge. How's that, Forge? It worked. Great job, Allison. The computer is coming back online. You handled that like a pro. But what about Ileana? I'm already using the main computer to help her. Thanks, Allison. You probably just saved her life. Okay, Moira. I've finished downloading the program. How do things look? 
That's done it, Forge. Ileana's life signs are stabilizing. Your talents truly are a gift from heaven. I couldn't have done it without Allison. She's the hero. Well then, I thank you, Allison. You saved Ileana's life. Anyone could have done it. Nonsense. You deserve to be congratulated, lass. Thanks. I'm just glad Ileana's better. X-Men, meet at the X-Jet. Now. It's time we left for the mansion, people. Colossus, you're welcome to join us. Since Dr. McTaggart is sending Ileana to see Professor Xavier at the X-Mansion, I will go too. We got back from Muir Island a little while ago. Somehow my troubles with the Brotherhood really don't seem important compared to what poor Ileana's going through. I hope Dr. McTaggart and Professor Xavier can help her. Hello, Alison Crestmere. Any word on your sister? I have spoken with Dr. McTaggart, but there is no change in Ileana's condition. I fear her time grows short. But Dr. McTaggart seems pretty certain she can save her. Perhaps. But I am not so certain now. Ileana's lucky to have a brother like you. Yet, I am the lucky one. My sister gives me reason to live. Without her, I would be an empty shell. Take it easy, Colossus. So long as my sister is ill, I will never take it easy. Hello, dear. You must be new to the school. Yes, my name is Allison Cressmere. How delightful. I'll bet all the boys are chasing after a pretty girl like you. Ah, uh, men. They're so easy to own. Allison, I'd like to introduce you to Emma Frost, also known as the White Queen. She has immense psychic talents. Charles, my sweet. You're looking more handsome every day. And you, Emma, are equal parts beauty and chaos. Such a smooth talker. You could charm a girl right out of her. Thank you for coming to the mansion so promptly. I am in dire need of your talents. Not to worry, Charles. Auntie Emma will make it all better. 
You see, Allison, men are so easy. Much like the boy you're interested in, Bobby Drake. Hello, Allison. How's that boy you have your eye on, Bobby Drake? How did you know about Bobby? It's amazing the things you learn when you're a telepath. I thought telepaths weren't supposed to read minds unless they were given permission. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? What's this astral plane that Professor Xavier was talking about? The astral plane is a dimension of existence bordering on the edge of thought. It's based entirely on metaphor. So, a person who needs emotional protection would be covered in armor, and a person who wishes to be silent would be surrounded by a wall. Sounds very weird. Think of it as a dream, where everything has an alternate and deeper meaning. Good luck on your mission. Be sure to keep an eye on the professor. My dear, I always keep both eyes on Charles. Allison, I'm gonna be gone for a little while. Where are you going? I can't say, but it shouldn't take long. If you're gone, who's gonna be in charge of the team? Storm will be the X-Men team leader in my absence. Can I go with you? You know, you probably would come in handy, but no. This is something I have to do alone. Okay. See you later, Cyclops. See you soon, Allison. Still got a little feeling or two for Magneto. I can understand that, but oh, tell me, Cher, you still got a little room in your heart for old Gambit? Hmm. <laughs> I'm long done with Magneto, and you know I still care about you, you snake thief. But think about what you're asking me. Oh, sorry. I'll leave. <laughs> Don't you worry, none, little Allison. I done heard everything that I need to know. I'll be going now. What's Gambit angry about? He and I have an on-again, off-again relationship. And this time, I'm the one who called it off. He'll pout about it for a while, but he'll be back. See you later, Rogue. Later, Sugar. Allison, I can't help but notice you've been extremely somber lately. Is something wrong? I'm worried about Ileana. That's very kind of you. I'm sure Peter appreciates your concern. I wish there was something I could do to help. Allison, the more I get to know you, the more I'm convinced you were an X-Man before you even came to the mansion. Thanks, Beast. You're the greatest. <laughs> I wouldn't debate that point with you at all, my friend. 